Hi everyone, today I'm going to present an innovative solution to help women and their families mitigate through the challenges of motherhood while also recovering from a substance abuse disorder. It can be estimated that over 90% of female drug users in Canada are of childbearing age, ranging from 15 to 29 years old. It is during this time a woman may be thinking about motherhood or unintentionally becomes pregnant. However, when one is not equipped to face the challenges of motherhood, this can result in negative consequences to both mother and child. These can include depression, behavioral disabilities, child maltreatment, and low economic status. Yet parenting with a substance abuse further these implications as mothers may be more concerned with satisfying their own addictions and pairing the welfare of their children and their families. Although programs exist offering support with parenting for those who suffer from substance abuse disorder, very little offers support for preconception pregnancy, and parenthood all together. In response, a leading solution that I am proposing is called Mothers for More, which stands for Motherhood, Openness, Resilience, and Empathy, a program open to support women before, during, and after pregnancy while recovering from a substance abuse disorder. Most motherhood programs focus on pregnancy when it already happens. However, the first module for Mothers for More focuses on pre-pregnancy, also known as preconception. Substance abuse disorder by itself already causes emotional, physical, and financial strain to families. Abusing during pregnancy can contribute to further implications with some drugs posing higher risks than others. For example, alcohol abuse can contribute to birth defects and developmental disabilities, while cocaine can cause perinatal death and placental abruption. Health care before pregnancy can prevent diseases and improve risk status for mothers and their families. Teaching about risk assessment can help mothers make informed decisions on preconception care, such as if they want to have children. Risk assessment goes over obstacles to motherhood, such as income, housing, and education, while finding solutions around them. In Mothers for More, this will entail talking about expected roles of motherhood, financial costs of infant care, governmental resources that help low-income families, all while recovering from a substance abuse disorder. Yet, preconception is not always possible, and women may find themselves pregnant. The Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse reports, 1-5% to of pregnant women report to have taken illicit drugs while pregnant. The number increases when other drugs such as alcohol and nicotine are taken into consideration. In the second module, called Pregnancy, care plans will be created with an emphasis of treating the specific drug addiction, along with other stressors causing harm to the mother. For example, methamphetamine poses a high risk, with one dose during pregnancy causing long-term implication for the baby or causing fatality after birth. Care plans will also treat other underlying conditions, such as treating affective disorders, as well as find appropriate childcare for existing children if needed. Finally, the last module, Parenthood, concerns itself with services after childbirth. In Canada, about one quarter of mothers will experience postpartum depression. Meanwhile, children born from substance abusing mothers will face additional behavioral and emotional complications compared to their peers whose mothers who are not substance users. Parental substance abuse has shown greater rates of child abuse and more involvement in child services. Therefore, the parenthood module will touch on resources and support for after childbirth, also known as aftercare such as treating the mother and child's current mental and physical condition. For the mother, this could be mental or physical treatment from results of pregnancy. For the child, this would include providing enough resources and stimulation for the child's development. Mothers for More would be best implicated inside in-treatment centers, such as the Burnaby Center for Mental Health and Addictions or the Hartwood Center for Women, all governed by the Provincial Health Services Authority, as these centers target various forms of therapy. Research has shown residential programs and those integrated with treatment centers are preferred over outpatient groups as more positive parenting outcomes were reported. Though there is a high number of females in these centers, there is not enough talk about motherhood. Similar programs with only pregnancy or parenthood services have shown improvements for emotional and behavioral functioning years after they were provided, while others have found promising scores for caregiving, reflective functioning, and a positive trend in parenting behaviors. Most impressively, mothers partaking in these programs were five times more likely to retain custody of their children after treatment. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of Mothers for More. Thank you.